Hey there, I'm John with Board Game Geek, and today we have Mark Diaz Truman here from Magpie Games. Hey. So it looks like you are showing us Wizard Kittens, the card game. That's right. We funded Wizard Kittens on Kickstarter last year, and it's going to ship out to backers and then be available in retail stores this year. Awesome. So what's going on here? Uh, in Wizard Kittens, you play these cute, adorable kittens, uh, Grumpkin, Bebe, Issa, or Muffin. Yeah. Uh, and these kittens have gotten themselves in some trouble. They've <laughs> released some curses from the library, from the restricted se oh, section. Oh, man. And maybe the balloon curse where uh, they turn their kitty friends into balloons so they're going to float away. Or the copycat curse where they've accidentally copied some of the kitties around and now they're overwhelming everything. <laughs> and in order to keep from getting in trouble, we as the kitties are going to have to break these curses and put them back in the spell books before we are caught by Professor Whisper. Okay, right? so is this a cooperative game then? It's a semi-cooperative game oh, okay. and it's a set collection game, meaning that we're going to make these little recipes and okay. then we get those cards in the order. So for example, in chapter one, if I have a artifact fact, familiar, and a potion, oh, look at the deck here, then I would clear that curse and score those five points. Okay. If I had an extra card or two, even if they're in the recipe, the extra cards count as negative modifiers, so okay. it would be negative two points for those extra cards. So on your turn, you're applying a couple cards to the board, trying to set yourself up to score later on. That's right. So the, the game's pretty simple. Every turn, we're going to draw a card. So for example, I might draw this scroll, mm -hmm. look and say, oh, chapter two, my copycat curse, I could use a scroll. I play the scroll, and then I get to cast a spell. There are four spells. I can summon, sling, swat, or switch. Okay. If I summon, then that means I'm getting another card from the deck. Mm -hmm. If I sling, I'm going to send a card to you. I could help you, maybe help finish out some of these curses so we don't get caught. Sure. Or I could hurt you by giving giving you a card that's not useful. Right. I can also swat and get rid of cards. And that's because when Professor Whisper comes out of the deck, and we'll put Professor Whisper in those bottom 10 cards, mm -hmm. when Professor Whisper comes out, the kitty that wins is not the kitty with the most points. It's the kitty with the cleanest paws. The oh. cleanest paws clause says that <laughs> if you are caught by Professor Whisper, the kitty with the fewest ritual components on their board is the one that wins. Okay. So as we're playing, you may decide, I'm not going to win this. I'm already behind. Yeah. But I can wreck everybody else's board and win on the cleanest. Delay pause, the game, pause, empty your area. And win that okay. way. Okay. Right? Now, there are other ways to get points. There's extra credit cards. Um, there's other modifiers that you might apply. But one big part of the game is that we want it to be scalable. So it's for seven and up meaning that the base game, no extra credit cards, no extra chapters, is very easy for kids to master. Sure. But if you're an experienced gamer, we have Chaos Cat cards that add new rules midway through the game, extra credit cards, uh, other things that make the game more interesting. For example, Grumpkin has a special power that if you use the advanced version, he has a unique spell that only Grumpkin has. And so okay. you get asymmetric play across mm -hmm. the multiple. Okay. Kitties. So this is one way the game ends. That's right. How does what's the other way it ends? The other way it ends is once we've shuffled this guy in here and we start burning through the deck, we will clear curses. So for example, let's say I clear this balloon curse and put it here in my tableau. Yes. I've scored those five points. A new curse is going to come out, which may mean that the cards you collected aren't valuable anymore, or it may mean that the cards that you weren't really happy with suddenly become good for that recipe. Right. Once we've burned through all the curses. Then we count up points. So if we clear all six curses together, the two of us or up to four of us, mm -hmm. then the kitty with the most points wins the game. Okay. So we can win by escaping Professor Whisper's wrath mm -hmm. and, and putting all the curses back into the spell books, mm -hmm. or we can win by, if we're caught, being the kitty with the cleanest paws. Okay, so my question is, why would I want to help you? Right, so there might be a couple of situations in which you would help me. One is, there are curses in here that are tough to beat. For example, if we have the vampire curse and the love curse out, getting four artifacts or four familiars is pretty tough. Okay. You may look at it and say, man, we're never going to finish if we have to do both of these at the same time. Yeah. Let me send you a familiar so that you can start to get working on that, yeah. and I'll catch up later once we've cleared some of these curses and they're a little easier. Okay. Right. The second thing might be that if I've already got 16 points and I'm way ahead... There's one caveat to the cleanest pause clause. I can't win if I have more than 10 points by avoiding Professor Whisper's wrath. Once you have 10 points, it's pretty obvious you were in trouble. Right, so right. you can't tell Professor Whisper, I didn't know anything, I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. So once you've got 10 points, you need everybody else to finish these curses. I see. And I might want you to finish them, even though that'll put you much closer to my score. Okay. So it's semi-cooperative. We're still, there's still only one winner. Understood. But there's times during the game where I might want to help you to keep things moving. To slow the game down or speed the game up. Yep, totally, yeah. There might even be a case where I hurt this person by switching one of their cards with one of your cards, which helps you and hurts them. Okay. So that's the uh, that's the, the base game. That's this, the base right? game, yep. 
We also have uh, the Magical Monsters expansion, which is going to be coming out at the same time. The Magical okay. Monsters expansion features a new kitty, Van Meowsing. Okay. Uh, Van Meowsing is the monster expert around uh, the kitties. Um, and he comes not just with more extra credit cards, which are secret victory point conditions that you can you know, score additional points for, with, but also new rules, new curses, and monsters. Monster cards are like super curses. So for okay. example, the um, uh, Basilisk card will freeze a row of cards so that you can't change it. Uh, the Phoenix card must be defeated over and over again because every time you defeat it, it goes to the bottom of the deck. Right. right? And so those curses are, again, a way to scale up the game. Okay. Uh, most importantly, this expansion makes the game playable with five players. It's got enough materials. The original was four? Four. Two to four in okay. the original box, five with the Monsters expansion. What's the playtime for, for the, the base game and with the expansion? If you've played before and you keep it at kind of a moderate level, 15 to 20 minutes, it's, okay. it's a really fast pace quick game every turn you're taking a card playing a card casting a spell so mm -hmm. once you get that rhythm going you'll go around 10 or so times and that'll be the end of the game okay uh, with the fifth player obviously a little longer oh yeah sure and if you ramp up the difficulty then you have people start thinking a little bit well where do i want to put this card i gotta think two or three moves ahead right and then the game might be 30 to 40 minutes okay so you mentioned that these have the same uh release dates yes what is that we're hoping for june middle of june 2020 obviously with everything going on in china there's sure. some delays uh, but we're looking at june 2020 and we'll definitely have it uh, in retail stores around that time. Awesome. Well, uh, thanks, Mark, for coming over and showing us Wizard Kittens the Card Game. Thanks.